Now today, we're back to talk about Invasion Day. Invasion Day and Sorry Day. I think a lot of us will reflect on Sorry Day because um, we have lost a lot of families who have done all the hard work for us and given us a pathway to continue to do what we're doing. Whether the government is listening to us or not, it does not matter. We know in our hearts that we will be there and we'll stay strong. So let's, yeah, just think about it. Never, ever give up hope. The thing is, recognising the country and recognising the people, and we're still fighting for our rights, and, you know, we just ask for our rights back. Because there is, I feel every day that we've lost everything, because uh, I just want to be given back. So that's what I'm going to say. And the government just got to learn and turn around and respect us and give us our land back and whatever, you know. Stop celebrating. Celebrate. Uh, give us a, something back so we can celebrate, continue to celebrate. For our children and the next generation, we are seeing bad things happening now, you know. And um, this business about recognising us on the Constitution, that doesn't go far enough. Because in the 80s, the old people wanted a treaty. And that's what we should be looking for today, a treaty. So now we ask Australians, all of you, please look at us. We still want the rights to our country. We're not saying we're going to take over your bit of land that you bought. We just want to be recognised as the first people of this country. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, great to see so many people here today. I had so many things that I wanted to say and there's always so much to say in this whole situation of us and them. Is it that difficult? Um, it's simple. This is our country. Always, it always was and always will be our country. I fell over one on the east side, fell over. I'm 73, well, 73 this year. And I walked, and not one car stopped to help me up. And so I just lay there laughing. Well, what else do you expect? You know, that's really bad, isn't it? In a town like this, even people won't stop to help you. I'm sure they assumed, well, there's a drunken Aboriginal woman on the street just falling over. Just to give you a picture of, of what we go through every day, every day of our lives, you settle down and then something happens and you think, yep, same old, same old insult, same old, same old ignorance. Jesus creepers, as you can tell, I'm really, I'm, I'm just too old to be putting up with the same old, same old thing. But having said that, please don't give up the younger generation because we're not going anywhere. We're still going to be here and we want to celebrate our Ooh, country. Yeah. Mom. We want to celebrate our country. But how can we? How can we? When the government of Australia just seems to ignore us and give us token, token everything really. It's really, really sad. It just makes me cry that, um, for goodness sake, wake up. And this is a good day to change the date. So change it. Thanks. In the past seven months, since like my brother's torture and everything that's happened, I've done research and met a whole heap of activists and people that stand for like Aboriginal rights and all of this stuff. And I guess it's opened my eyes to the fact that I'm not just Australian. There's actually a whole like underlying history of what that actually means, like to myself and all the nannies, you know, as well. I've been fighting for so long to keep that culture strong to make sure that people like myself know the land that I walk on, you know, and my, like, skin names and all of that stuff. And so 
I just wanted to say this, that my name is Kira Bola and I'm a proud Wurrunga woman from Sejuna and my mother was born in Nadanjari country and I now work on Aranda country and I'm thankful to the ancestors past and present for making that possible. And I think that the state should be changed for the future generations so that they can also understand and acknowledge and respect the land that they work on and the elders who have made that possible for them. So thank you. They believe in imperialism, whichever form. Education is the main core to our rights. Believe in your mother, I'm speaking of our land, because our culture is about respect. We have to take note of our status quo. We have to forget about who thinks he or she is better. Let's sort out what has to be sorted out. We will never forget and I know where I stand. That's just the way life goes. Take note of these words and imagine stepping out of your body. Believe me, you'll see just what I see. I wrote that. Thank every one of you coming here and joining us for this day, which is a special day for us. The day that we are still living and growing. And the generations are still coming. Or today onwards, they'll be still growing and still living. This is a special day for us growing in this land. And I'd like to thank each one of you putting your effort coming and joining us today and we are we are the proudest Aboriginal people of this land we have fruit like all these trees are planted that's what we are 